Ms. McFell will be scaling the facial surface of tooth number 14 with the Columbia 1314 Universal Curette. Since she is a right-handed clinician, she has positioned herself at the 9 o'clock. She'll begin by selecting the correct working end of her instrument. This will be seen when the lower shank is parallel to the distal surface and the functional shank is going up and over the tooth. Incorrect positioning would be seen if the functional shank was down and around the tooth and the lower shank was not parallel to the distal surface. Ms. McPhail will establish a face to tooth surface angulation between 70 to 80 degrees where the cutting edge is angled slightly towards the tooth and away from tissue to avoid gingival damage. She will be scaling towards the mesial side of the tooth first and will hold her instrument in a modified pen grasp and establish a stable fulcrum. She can either scale subgingively or supragingively with this instrument, and we're gonna demonstrate subgingival scaling. So Ms. McPhail will gently slide the instrument under the gums at the distal facial line angle, hugging the root of the tooth at a zero degree angulation. She will establish an 80 degree face to tooth surface angulation by tilting the lower shank towards the root, meaning away from the tissue, so as to avoid trauma or unintentional gingival curatage. Her initial stroke will be in a coronal direction and she will utilize short controlled overlapping strokes that can either be vertical, horizontal, or oblique, applying appropriate lateral pressure and keeping the cutting edge in contact with the tooth at all times. She will roll the instrument handle as she moves across the facial surface, especially at the mesial facial line angle. Her strokes will extend into the inner proximal and under the contact, all the while utilizing a wrist rock motion as compared to finger motion. To scale the distal of the tooth, she will remove the instrument from under the gums, roll the instrument so that the tip is aimed towards the back of the mouth, as this is the direction she will be scaling. She will reposition back at the distal facial line angle and establish correct angulation. Her initial stroke will be in a coronal direction, and she will utilize short, controlled, overlapping strokes of either vertical, horizontal, or oblique nature, applying appropriate lateral pressure and keeping the cutting edge in contact with the tooth at all times. She will roll the instrument handle as she moves across the facial surface towards the distal, paying particular attention at the distal facial line angle. Her strokes will extend into the inner proximal and under the contact all the while utilizing a wrist rock motion as compared to finger motion.